This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutation viewers, Baltimore back here with another episode of Fable, the last chapters. In the last episode, we tried to uh, beat Whisper at a game of killing Hobbs, and we failed, unfortunately. So we turned back the test of time and decided to explore around a bit before we do it, maybe gain some levels. Not too many levels, because uh, if, if, you get so, if you get so many like experience points and level up too much, then the regular monsters start becoming more powerful, so you have to be kind of careful about that. But anyway... Where did the Steven door way back when? Well, I know how to open it now. So if we go to the door... Oh yeah. okay, okay, here we go. If we use our lamp and light ourselves up, let's hop to the Your door path now. is illuminated. Fancy that. You worked it out. I am smart, aren't I? Anyway, yeah, I thought, for some reason, I thought you had to be, like, light or dark side, but it makes sense that the door here wouldn't be as, uh, as compl complicated as that because of just where it is in placement of the game. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, light, just, uh, just use your lamp. And you get the lamp from the guild master as soon as you, uh, complete your quest training. So, I don't think the game ever just straight out says you get the lamp, but it's in your inventory. It basically lights up your, you know, uh, so if you're sneaking around, you want to remember to turn it off or... Turn on if you're having difficulty seeing around. But anyway, in here is there's some stuff. I'm just saying, if there's anything else like a, a fishing area or something. Got it. So okay, well let's just grab what's on the shelves. Okay, book of spells. Is that kind of the same one? Yeah, book of spells. We get the howl tattoo if you want to be evil or look evil. Anyway, does that count for both? Yeah, it does. Uh, anything on the door? Making friends book and a chest. I think it's a potion or something like that, if I remember correctly. The elixir of life. That's not the, and I don't think that's the. Uh, let's take a look at that one really quick. Potions. A rare herbal health potion. Extraordinary health boosting powers. Become more healthy than you have ever been before. I think what it does, it heals you, and I think it also gives you skill points for. Uh, uh, or maybe it's just a really strong health plan. I'll have to look that one up, but, uh, where'd I get that one from? Huh. I'll, I'll drink that later when I need to. Anyway, that, I think that's it for this place, so it's pretty straightforward for the most part. So let's go back to the Heroes Guild and teleport, and let's explore a bit further into this place. Um, don't want to go too far away, because, uh... Basically, you can explore. There's basically, uh, from what I remember, you can explore up to a point before the game's like, dude, you have to like actually, uh, actually have to get to that point normally. So anyway, let's uh, let's kind of keep uh, questing or running along for a bit before I do any more quests, just to see if I can get a bit more experience. I have a decent amount already, and I've leveled up quite, and I've leveled up a bit, which I can show you. Let me. Uh, let me get back to the guild place for teleportation so we can teleport to the, another area. Oh, and you can also tell my character is clearly a little bit different from ah, before. There's like before an he's a little bit. Quest card the guild for you. He was either slouching or smaller, but you can tell he's a little bit buffer. Uh, and if you can kind of look at his face, he's kind of aged slightly. It's hard to tell until you gain like a lot of levels. Because by the end of the game, if you level up completely, you, uh, you'll you be like really old looking. But anyway, we raised. Physique, health, and toughness up one level. Skill, I raised skill up a bit, uh, mainly because I was grinding with my bow, because that's the one I grind with the least out of all my items. Uh, accuracy went up, and I also raised Guile and Speed. Uh, will, haven't, uh, I think I gave myself two spells. I gave myself slow time, see if that works. And what was, the, what was it? Um. Uh, not lightning. There was one where I, I, it allows me to like charge into, into people. Well, not charge, but it allows me to yeah rush into people, assassin rush for quick. Try to get past those like either ranged people or uh, wizards. Now usually what I do if I play good, I usually and you can still buy this. You just can't master this spell unless you are good of heart. But the physical shield's a really good spell to learn if you are doing either straight up melee or ranged, or if you're trying to do the boast where you take no damage. Unfortunately, since I'm doing a kind of a darker path, I might buy one into that, but I probably won't focus as much on that one because, you know, I'll never be able to max it out if I stay. I mean, true, you can go all evil or all good in the game, 
multiple times if you want to. It's just uh, it's just easier to kind of go with one way over the other. But anyway, yeah, that's a uh, and see, I've got a lot of general experience, but I kind of want to save that without going too high a level. Um, like I said, I don't want to beef up too much at this point in the game, so I'm kind of sticking saving all that for now. I'll do more grinding off screen for the most part, but for now, I think today is going to be another explore the land. That, basically, it's so when we get to the, uh, um, uh, what's the word? When we find, when the game finally requires us to go to a certain spot, we we can already just teleport to that a lot quicker. Like this Great Wood Cullis one, this is one just right after the previous area with the bandits. So if you just continue on past uh, the place where you fight the bandits on the bridge, you'll end up this place instead. All right. And obviously, I still have to go buy a fish and find a fishing pole and shovel and all this stuff later on, but anyway. Yeah, one way I've been leveling up is basically just doing this, is just leveling up a, with a bow and just uh, taking out a... Uh, not so much just bandits. I was trying to, I was trying to take, I was trying to do a... Uh, trying to get a demon door to open and I just found out it's just gonna I just should just wait till the end of the game or closer to when I'm a lot more powerful to do in game grinding like that. Mainly, the main reason I've been using my bow for the most part is because I'm not probably not gonna use as much as my other skills later on in the game, so I wanna just kinda max out my guile abilities just sooner. And you do a lot of damage if you're paying attention if you uh kind of hold it down and everything, so it's not like it's... Obviously, it'd probably be a lot more effective if I was using uh, a, uh, my regular bow. But no. Yeah, pretty easy for the most part. At least bandits. Like I said, they will get more powerful when you get further on in the game. Oh, by the way, this unlocks a new teleport here. So, anyway. Alright. I just wanted to show you what I've been kind of messing with. I haven't done too much grinding for the most part. Like, that that much experience with 10,000 is like a drop in the bucket compared to, like, all the spells and stuff you can get in the game. Um, I'm gonna try to play this character a little bit differently than I normally would. Maybe make him more of a melee guy instead of a wizard like I usually do, but anyway, we got a pathway here. Where's this cottage, huh? Let's check it out. There couldn't be anything. We having a cottage out here in the middle of nowhere. It's fine. No dangers whatsoever. Other than bandits being on the road, or hobs, or insects, or whatever, but yeah, get yeah, don't get used to having to fight those weak dudes. After I think it's either after a certain story point or or levels, but eventually the game starts throwing harder stuff at us. So, huh? Well, this seems like a nice little area. Let's rob it. See what's here. Oh, a demon door. Hello. Let's see what this one has to say. Hello, buddy. I never open on a first date. My heart has been broken too many times before. I can only let someone who really loved me through. Well, I'm not a. I'm, what is that? Was that uh, diversification where if you you can find romance with anything? What's that called? Oh well, I'm not. I'm not really into stone people, dude. Unless they have stone. Well, uh, you know. Anyway. I don't know what to do for you, man. I'm not really into you. I mean, I could give you something to make you feel better if you want. But yeah, actually, if you want to open this door, you either have to give him a rose, I think chocolates will work, and a wedding ring will work. Obviously, you won't actually wed the dude. Uh, and he opens up. I don't have any chocolate. I don't think I have any chocolate right now. I thought about buying some. Uh, let's see. Would be under kit. Uh, don't, oh, by the way, don't give him any jewels. It won't work. Um... Uh, now, let's see, fish, apples, other... Nah, I didn't think so. Alright. Yeah, let's just, uh... Well, just remember that for later. We got a teleporter not too far away, so it won't be too hard to go into town and buy some chocolates and come back. Maybe we'll do that by the time the next episode rolls around. Well, no, sometimes you'll find chocolates on enemies you kill, so you never know. Alright, and I think you can dig here for something, but I don't have a shovel, so I can't do anything with that. Someone's covering up a chest. Take this, Brambles. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it dark because I'm destroying someone's property? Yeah, it's fine. You get good points for killing bandits and stuff anyway, so it's like... 
It's actually kind of hard. I mean, other than choosing the, the hard, uh, difficult stuff during the game, unless you attack every single person you run across, it's kind of harder to be evil in this game. Nuts. Anyone in there? Yeah, another place we'll have to check out later. Let's see, it's still daytime, so it shouldn't be locked, but I don't have a anything to unlock it with, so I don't have enough guile, so... Alright. Well, we'll come back here later, either to get inside the cottage, if we find a way to unlock it, or to give the demon door some chocolates. Well, I mean, I'm a fan of stone and some, you know, obsidian and all that other type of stuff, but a uh, stone with a face? Uh, I don't know how far that relationship's gonna go, demon door. I mean, you're kind of stuck there. <laughs> I can't really chisel you out to go on dates, you know. Anyways, now ah, we've already fought the bands here. I can ignore them. I'm not gonna help those dudes out. They can fend for themselves. I think it's... Well, it could be insects. It kind of randomizes. Anyway, let's go to the Great Wood Caves. See what's over here. We're gonna start dealing with more Hobbs more re regularly. Hopefully I'm gonna get more uh, powerful enough to be able to be, uh, whisper her, uh... I thought when I was doing it the first time, I thought it was doing fine, but... Actually, let's try out our new, uh... Let's try out our new spell. There we go. Aha! And then, yeah, it uses a bit of mana. True, but, uh... Now, when you get, when you get uh, higher levels, it'll be a lot more effective. For now, it is okay, but, uh... But don't worry, we'll get used to it. We'll start getting used to it. Come on. Yeah, not doing as much damage as I would, as I would like, but... Yeah, I really need to start beeping up my electricity or some magic spell or something. That's why I have something else that I can use. Ah, man. Your help is low. Do you have any potions or food? Yeah, I don't want to use potions because those cost too much, so... Eat meat. Let's eat some meat so it can get all all nice and fat. We'll actually, we'll actually need to do that so, at some point in the game just to, uh, um, uh, what's the word? Um, get past the demon door. But anyway, let's check this demon door, see what he wants. I need to Hello. see your combat multiplier get higher before I swing a jar. You like, you like me killing a lot of people very quickly, huh? You're a sadistic man. I guess that's why you're called Demon Door, right? Anyway, to get past this guy, you need a uh, multiplier of 14 or higher. There is an important yeah. quest card the guild for you. That's going to take a while. I mean, there is a way to do it if you Try basically go back and forth between... Even higher. Great one, huh? Oh, these go to the Darkwood. Darkwood is, I think, the next half of the game is going through Darkwood. We can go through there for now, but I think at some point where you get blocked off. But uh, we'll go with that here in a second. Um, but yeah, to do the 14, I'll show you whenever it comes down to it. But basically, we need to be closer to the end of the game where we have some higher stats and new monsters have appeared. And we'll have a better chance of getting the 14 multiplier. So for now, we're also going to leave that alone. Uh, a, lot, a lot of these uh, can't really be done till the end anyway. So let's try to get the hob caves. We will have to go back. I believe we have to go back here for a couple, uh, either one or two quests. But I want to go ahead and get kind of the general exploration out of the way while we're running around. This is how I was doing my grinding earlier. I was trying to, uh... I, I was actually trying to get that multiplier thing to, uh, see if I could do it this early in the game, but, uh... Uh... Not to no, uh, no avail. You can't do it, I think, probably at my level, but uh, it's, a, it's like I said, it's a bit more difficult. But basically what you're supposed to do, uh, at least a good way to do it, is just to hit things with your bow, because it'll give you like a really deep... I mean, look at my multiplier already. It's already at six. And I've only killed like a couple of dudes with my bows. Oh, I got hit. Well, I'm not trying to grab my multiplier. I'm just trying to show you what I was doing earlier. Uh, oh, and one of the better things, I guess, about getting hit is if you hit a certain milestone, you don't automatically lose your multipliers. It's done by fives, basically. So you run in, hit it. Uh, uh, F5, and if you... Uh, okay. I could have swore I was aimed for this dude. Well, you can tell that the... Uh, that's, okay, well, it's... Okay, I'm going to avoid them so I can just start checking out the area, so... Okay. Uh, I'm getting hit more in this playthrough than I, I think I've ever have, even when I first played the game. But, uh, oh well. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> okay. No, that's. Your health is low. Do you have any potions or food? Yeah, I just got a potion from a dude, so. I'll, uh... This is what you get for me for, for, for experience grinding, because these guys aren't getting taken out one shot like they're supposed to be. I mean, if you came here, like, right after, like, the story, they wouldn't be as tough. They'd be tough, but not that tough. Hero, your new energy is low. What's that? Ah. The only reason I use that is because I just got a potion bottle with it. I actually... If I remember, I don't think there's actually anything in this cage now that I think about it. Um, nope. I don't even think there's a place to uh, fish, is there? No, not every place is going to wander up results, so let's keep exploring. The main reason I'm getting all this exploring out of the way now is so when we get when we just start doing quests, I can just start doing them like back to back to back, so it'll be like easier to kind of run through the game. So we're going to kind of try to avoid these guys. You know, the, the, the inside. Thank you. Before we die, that's why I raised up my physique or whatever, because I want to be able to take a few hits. Now I do also need some new armor. I'll, I'll admit that that's probably one of the things I should be prioritizing right now. But I haven't quite yet. That's God. That really. Ah. Nice. That just to uh, my character's gonna have, probably have quite a few scars at uh, by the by this point. Although I'm probably never gonna, I'm probably never gonna wear no armor at all because that's kind of silly. I remember when I first played these games. I actually I purposely tried to uh, not get hit at all because I didn't want to have all these scars on my character. But I realized after a point that there was no reason to do that really. I mean, it wasn't as big of a deal. Ooh. That was a regular man push, I'm not sure. Anyway. So it's, ah. Need five silver keys, huh? Alright. There's actually, if I remember correctly, there's actually a demon door in this game that requires silver keys as well, but I would watch out. I'd wait for that one till, till you've collected all the keys in the game and used all the ones. I don't know if there's a minimum or not, but, but we'll get to it when we... When it comes down to it, but I'm gonna get past these guys. Man, I kind of wish I grabbed some of the surround spells, the ones that like hit everyone like with force push or something like that. Force push TM, you know. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in here. I think I'm trying to remember what the quest actually requires you to. Do. I think we have to fight a troll. Hero, Trying to see if there's any uh I'm trying to see if there's any treasure chest or anything in here for I don't think we can actually enter this door, can we? Oh we can. Okay, cool. Just uh, another place to teleport to later on. Cause I know a lot of the main story quests do require you to kind of explore anyway, so I guess maybe me doing this outside of it is kind of moot. But uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'll be more focused on the story at this point and Exploring. Ah, there is an important quest card in the guild for you. Man, yes. if you think that this guildmaster guy is going to stop, think again. He's going to do that for the rest of the game. Focus chamber. What do we got to focus on? Well, obviously being outside of, outside of story plot. I might uh, after this. I might well, I might uh, travel back to the guild hall. And teleport back to the Colossus Gate, so I don't have to go back through the tunnels again. Ooh, fancy rock. This feels almost open enough to be a boss fight. Nah, that can't be. That can't be right. It's clearly for ambiance. Or, uh, for senior. I think this is another place to dig. I'll have to remember that for later as well. I think that's it. So that's the that's all that's in the tunnel here. So I guess we could go to Darkwood now. For some reason I thought there was a, I thought I saw a door. 
Okay, anyway. Let's uh, teleport back to the guild. Now, you can actually... Uh, uh, I thought it was supposed to take me to the actual... There we go. Okay. Uh, sometimes when you teleport, there's some areas where you can actually go back to. Like, if you teleport out of a certain area, you can actually... Um, as long as I think as long as you're in the general area of where you teleport to, you can actually go back to it, which is kind of nice for those like quick. Uh, anyway, let's uh, see. Other ways is to Rose's play, uh, Rose's cottage. So now let's go into the dark wood. Have to be careful when we go there, because there's going to be more powerful creatures. And we're already running from everything in the, in the game at this point. But yeah, as soon as I get some decent spells, I'll be able to. Uh, take care of those guys, or at least crowd control them a lot better. Uh, either that or, or beef up slow time to, to uh, focus on them. I mean, I, I said I was going to go more melee wizard, but I, I'm kind of one of those fickle people that kind of changes his mind In shortly Dark, after. You will find the Chapel of Scorn. Please the deities there, and they will let evil into your soul. Why are you telling me about this, Guildmaster? Don't you care about, like, light or dark, or... <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I feel like there should be... La 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 Ah! I didn't know lightning could cut your head off, dude. Get more meat. We'll keep that. But yeah, I'm gonna probably use the bow for a bit, just to kind of, uh... Yeah, you can tell they're starting to get a lot more HP. Man! That took like almost 300 damage. Wow. This isn't good. Yeesh. Man, talk about taking a lot of damage. I guess they're being careful. Don't want to go too far. Don't worry, the game does stop you at one point. So I don't have to. I just forgot when it is that I get stuck at. Yeah, go attack whatever you were attacking before, dude. Uh. Ow. Oh, man. Come on. Basically, getting hit with a crossbow is like getting hit with a... a, 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 a I wouldn't say modern, but a uh, old-timey gun, basically. I mean, that's pretty much what happened when they... Kind of like how how gunpowder changed like the course of war. It, the crossbow did the exact same thing. It was just such an abrupt change in like what was going on that uh, that's why people who had bows and arrows and, and crossbows basically just took over everything. Why are you people running? Okay, seriously, you ran into the bow, so if you die, you can. What's the terminology? What's the terminology? I'm going to wave my arms in front. I'm going to raise my hands in, in a circular motion if you uh, if you get in the way that's your fault or something like that. Yeah, too expensive. That's the problem with buying stuff from like regular dudes out on the road. They're usually going to be more expensive. I'm probably going to end up maxing out my guile just so I can just so I can actually like afford. Yeah, poor random merchant. He died. He died. He died. He died. Why was he there? I tried, I tried, I tried. But he was, uh, he ran in the way trying to fight off a bandit. I wonder if I ever run into a bandit called Jing around here. What's your name? Jing? What do you do? Oh, bandit. Put another resurrection ball. Those are always nice because those are expensive. 500 GP a pop. Until we start actually finding a way to get a lot of money, we're going to have to some point we will get a decent chance at uh, point in the game where we can just start grind, uh, easily getting money from stuff. That's, usually it's from property is the easiest way to do it in the game that I've seen for the most part. Other than killing merchants and see if they steal any of their, drop any of their goods. But that, they don't really do it half the time. Let's see what's your hops? I got a little less HP. Or at least the regular dudes do.
I said this game this game has its flaws for sure. I should eat some meat. Maybe I should go ahead and, and, and make it a uh, a, 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 a quick, quick bar if we're gonna keep doing that. Of course, I'm slowly but surely gonna start gaining weight if I uh, if I do that for too long. Yeah, you can actually gain weight in this game, surprisingly enough. Anyway, let's see what this deep is. Beware, Traveler. I block the way to all but the most combat hardened. If you request, my guardians will test your metal in combat. Am I strong enough to fight them at this point? I could try. Meet their challenge, and the reward I hide is yours. I could always run away if I really need to. Yeah, let's see if we can fight these guardians. Probably not strong enough for this, because I'm not. We're not supposed to be in dark. I yet, see so. you're ready for your test. Very well. I don't know about. I don't know if Guardians, I'll die, but I'll definitely. Attack. I said I'll run away if it really comes down to like if I'm like just straight up destroyed. Oh, I could swear I had to fight some, something else here. There is an important quest card in Guild I think we fight a couple of things now that I think about it. Stab a couple of them. I do like the idea of being able to take out. Oh, good. Good gravy. Hero, your will energy is low. What's that? Yeah, so we're killing anything gives you good, good uh, alignment instead of dark alignment. I'm gonna have to start kicking. I'm gonna have to start kicking puppies at some point. Whoa! Get out of here, regular dudes! Wow! Talk about talk about being annoying. Ah! I'm just gonna take advantage of that. Part. Dude, if you guys want to get in my way, I don't care. Besides, I'm playing dark mode anyway, so I'm just gonna turn vibration off on this. Ah! Is that enough for another time stop? Yeah. Time stop! Try to get your combat multiplier. Quit calling me Chicken Chaser while I'm trying to save your lives, apparently. Um, Although I'm not really trying to save your lives. Ow. Oh, these are about as tough as the ones that I was fighting when I, fought when I, when I was fighting with Whisper. Yeah, I'm glad you have to actively, like, uh, target a dude to, uh, to uh, damage him, because... Right now, I'm not in the mood to just straight out like attack the uh, you know, more of them. Yeah, I knew there was gonna be so. Let's uh, grab another. We're almost done for an episode too. Really close. Don't worry, we'll we'll get we'll get to uh, we'll get to productivity eventually. I just feel like this game like needs a needs a bit. Of I can thank the, the regular merchants for helping me, I guess. Oh, God. Now we're getting to the next step here, folks. I think I might have. Whoa. Time to. Okay, I'm going to have to. If I'm going to use so much red meat while I'm doing this, I might as well just uh, quick, quick slot it while we're doing this. Otherwise, it's just going to take me forever to keep. Yeah, these guys are a little bit more difficult. These are, I think, Red Hobbs or, or Captain Hobbs or something like that. Calvin and Hobbs? I don't know. Yeah, well, you, you don't, if I remember, we don't fight these guys till like, like maybe 75% of the game or something like that. 
Yeah, fight these guardians is... Oh, God. I mean, yeah, we also have a... <laughs> ah! Why'd you, why'd you do that? Ah, why'd you take off your sword? How'd I do that? Oh, oh, oh. oh nuts! Oh, nuts! Your health is low. You have any potions? She's a potion in this case. Woo! Ah, man, don't, don't waste my... Man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to... to, uh... uh I may just have to... I wonder how far away you can get from the door before the trial resets. Alright, sorry folks, I'm really trying to concentrate on not getting killed. Oh god! I don't know what hit me, but something hit me. Probably the local foreign fauna. Yeah, it's probably like a monster in the general area, so... Alright. I think there's one more creature after these guys, if I remember correctly. Oh, come on! At least doing this is giving me ch a chance to, like, wait for my, uh... And I, and I realize that, like, I could be making this fight so much easier if I just, like, wait till a certain part of the game. Uh, to just... I do not want to waste my magic. No, I don't want to kill dudes yet. I will eventually. All right. Ah, come on. There's an important quest card guild for you. Well, I guess I kind of am glad for the random merchants helping me. Oh, did we do it? You defeated my guardian. Oh wow. I am knackered. Go on. Get yourself through. Woo, thank you, game. Yeesh. Yeah, I know. I'm, like I said, making this too hard. But think about this. When I do eventually go through the game story and everything, I'll just, like, breeze through it. And it'll just be easy to enjoy the just the story and everything. So, all right. Looks like we've uh, ex looks like we've explored quite a bit. And there's more to go. We've put ourselves through some danger, opened some demon doors. And there's so much more to explore in the world of Avion. Will we be able to survive our trek through Albion? Will we finally do some quests or get some better armor? Find out next time in the next episode of Fable, The Lost Chapters. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.